Bon matin tout le monde, bon matin ministre euh, et mes collègues aussi euh, de la Chambre et des communes. C'est un grand plaisir d'être ici uh, ce matin pour uh, parler d'enjeux de l'environnement. It's great to be here with everyone. Uh, I'll keep my remarks short. I, uh, I've been thinking about what I was going to say this morning, and I think it has to start by saying climate change continues to be an ongoing, serious global challenge. But one of the things I think I'd like to focus on this morning is something that I think that often goes overlooked. You know, one of the areas of climate change that is so important is land conservation. We all know about the deforestation that's going on in areas of the world, such as uh, in the Amazon basin and in the Far East. Uh, and we all know why that's so important that we preserve land around the world. So the world's forests, its natural areas often act as the great lungs of the world, cleaning out the air of carbon and cleaning out the air of other pollutants. Uh, we, we, all, we all know the importance of soil conservation. I see Senator Black was in here. He started a big study in the Senate on soil conservation. Uh, that's just about to begin an equally important uh, topic on how we can sequester a greater amount of carbon in our soil to mitigate uh, the challenge of climate change. But often overlooked in Canada is the immense and rapacious rate of farmland loss throughout our country. I was at the Ontario Federation of Agriculture's local chapter of the Wellington County, uh, Feder Wellington County Federation last week, and the OFA has assessed that each and every day in this province, we lose 319 acres of farmland to urban sprawl. Uh, that is 100,000 acres a year of land lost that is lost to a high carbon infrastructure of concrete and asphalt and other built forms that reduce our ability as a country to meet the long-term challenges of climate change. And so as we go forward as a political community in dealing with the challenge of climate change, let's be mindful that as we grow our country and its increasingly rapidly growing populations and meet the challenge of housing and other needs for this growing population, that we do so in a way that doesn't lead to the ongoing destruction of these, these farmlands and these natural spaces to ensure uh, that we can clean the air, preserve habitat, uh, and ensure that in future generations we don't leave them behind with a high carbon infrastructure that they are going to struggle to maintain uh, and to deal with in an era of a warming planet. So I'll leave it with that. Uh, thank you very much for having me this morning and best of, uh, best, best of luck with your workshops that are coming out, uh, coming further along in the day. Thank you very much for having me. Next to you.